couch dot me palaces. Welcome back to another awesome finger style lesson right here on Lick and Riff in which I will teach you a really really cool flamenco style lick. You can play it in two different ways. You can play it as a fast lick and you can play it as a slow lick and both variations actually have a really cool distinct characteristic to each of them. The fast variation is this. Yeah, I'll play it again. The slow version is this. Okay? You can do a short version, which is, okay? which is basically um, a harmonically enhanced version of okay? the four chord flamenco chord progression. So you can use that in your soloing as well. Um, so the okay, the fast variation and the slow variation okay, both have very distinct characteristics. One of them is a solo per se, and the other is kind of a rhythmical idea. So uh, you get kind of two in one here. Now. Focus on strings three and four, okay? You're playing third harmonies there, okay? So the solo is basically this. Okay? I emphasize this because it's a change. You play this first, which is an A minor, and then this, which is an A harmonic minor. And that's the crux of the whole lick. This is what makes the the whole idea work musically. Okay, I'll explain it in a second. So, first let's play it. On strings three and four, you play 10 and 12, okay? 10 and 12, you play nine and 10, you play seven and nine, okay, then you can play the last two again, okay? So you do, okay, 10, 12, 9, 10, 7, 9, then you can do the 9, 10, 7, 9 again, okay? Then you have 5 and 7, and 4 and 5, okay? Which is the diatonic thing that I told you about within A minor. Then you play 5 and 7 again, and then you take it down one fret to 4 and 6, okay? Now this changes this harmony, okay? From 4 and 5 to 4 and 6, and actually the ear hears E minor the first time, and here's E major the second time, okay? This is A minor to E minor, and then it's A minor to E major, okay? Which uh, leads the way into okay, this, F to E, okay? This is F to E, so it's two and three on strings, three and four, and then one and two. Okay, so okay, that's why this lick works in, in a flamenco uh, frame of harmony. Okay, so once again, okay, got it? Can you hear it? Okay, if not, just play it a couple of times until you can. Okay, um, now. The uh, slow version is just arpeggios. You're just arpeggiating everything from the fourth to the first string. Okay? Okay? And you want a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four rhythm. Straight rhythm. This might be a bit too long for some of you, so just play from five and seven. Okay? And it would work as a short lick as well. Now the, fir the, the first variation, the fast one, um, is exactly the same thing. You just don't pick it as an arpeggio. Okay? You pick it as a straight chord. Okay? 
you pick all four strings, okay, one after another, but as kind of a pick strum, the way I, I like to call it, because you're picking, but it sounds like a strum, okay? Okay, like this, but, okay? You're picking each note, so you do it fast. Okay, so... It's exactly the same, it's exactly the same thing. You just get two completely different expressions from it, okay? And after you, you've done this, you can start playing around with it. You can play it upwards. Okay? Just... Okay, just up and down. Okay, it's the same, the same thing, just up and down instead of straight down. Uh, so that's another way you can play it. Okay, and also try... Okay, just snippets of it. Okay, you can. Okay, you can do um, four and five, and then down, and then back up to four and six. Okay, and change the harmony, so. So that works as well. Okay? You, can, you can try variations to your heart's content. So I wanted to share this uh, neat idea with you and you can just take this and be creative with it over a chord progression and see what works and what doesn't. Uh, if you're playing a different chord progression than A minor, G, F, and E, um, you'd probably have to change the harmonies a little bit, but even if you don't, it would work as a mode. So you don't really have to change it even if the harmony changes a little bit, okay? So don't worry about it. As long as you play the fast variation, at least, okay? Um, it will work as long as you're rhythmically uh, sound, right? So enjoy this, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.